bought a fist full of gear this year. Rick the Don. Rick, this is Donald Trump Jr. Hey, Rick the Don. 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 See you at the top, Rick the Don. Salute. What's going on, it's your man, man, Rick the Don? Yeah, yeah, man. So one of the craziest things just happened to me, and I wasn't gonna say nothing about it, but it was just so impactful. You know what I mean? I was just uh, having breakfast and eating. You know what I mean? And uh, a random guy comes up to me, right? And he says, do you know God? Or he said, you believe in God, don't you? Or something to that effect, like you're a child of God, aren't you? He says, so that's probably what, exactly what he said. And I was just like, it's a random question. I was like, yeah, uh, why, why do you ask? And he says, you have a anointing over you. You have like this glow, this kind of glow over you. And I was like, wow. And, uh, you know, he doesn't know me from a can of paint, you know what I'm saying? And for him to ask me that question, like, you're a child of God, aren't you? It's like, wow. You know, and it it, it said a lot, you know what I'm saying? It felt good to, because one, one thing, I don't know if you noticed, but one thing that I try never to do, and that is to lead with conversations about my belief system, because I don't believe it helps anybody change. I feel like when you lead with, hey, I'm a child of God and you should be too, I think a lot of times people just instantly turn it off. But when you're living your normal life and they can see it without you saying it, it's so much more impactful because that's the type of people that impact me. Like when I see them living their life and I like the life that they're leading, it makes me want to wonder. It makes me want to find out what they believe in because, it's like, whatever's working for you, I want that to work for me too. So I've learned a long time ago: the biggest and the best way to influence anybody is just through greatness and through living a exemplary life. Because if they like what you're doing, they're going to want to find out what powers that. And in my life, it is Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't. I don't lead with that. You know what I mean? Because I feel like. Jesus Christ speaks for himself. God, Jehovah Jireh speaks for himself. I don't have to speak on their behalf. I mean, I, I, I can, certainly. There's, there's a lot of information, a lot of things I can pull from, from my life especially. But I'm of the fabric of, you'll see it. You know what I mean? I always felt that way. And <laughs> um, for him to come up and ask me that question while I'm eating breakfast with my, with my daughter was incredible. So then we get to rapping and we're talking about all these different things and it turns out, that you know he's falling on hard times and he's living in a hotel that i'm just staying at uh but he has this incredible belief system so we talked about some very private things i challenged him to do some certain a certain thing and i believe if he completes that challenge his life will change forever but that's again you know between him and i but i just had to get on here and just just speak on that because that was one of the most amazing things that happened uh this week and he even had a message for me this is what he said I i'll share with you right I'll share with you. He says, are you a child of God? I was like, yeah. He's like, I can just feel the anointing and God has a message for you. So I was like, okay, this is either going to go one way or the other way because I talk to God myself. And that's the thing. A lot of times people want to hear from God and they go to other people, but God is your father too. And you can develop a relationship with him yourself. So I'm like, what is he going to tell me that my father has already told me? I talk to my father every day. So anyway, he told me something that my father has already told me, which let me know that he was actually a part of the family. Um, he, he said, uh, God says, well done. You've done a great job. And that he's going to prepare a room or a space for you at your enemy's table that you deserve, that you haven't been given because they felt like you didn't deserve it. But he's going to make room for you in their midst around them. And he's going to allow you to eat what you basically what you've been um deserving for a long time but you know for whatever reason it's been withheld from you he said that god is happy with the way that you've endured and how you've you know sustained over this time especially knowing what you know and what you should have received and what you should have gotten he said god is going to show them that the god in you is more powerful than anything that they believe in and i just like and when i heard him say that i was like yeah, you know, my father told me that like, you know, yeah, he told me that already. But <laughs> nevertheless, it's great to hear from somebody else because it's, it acts as a, as a confirmation. If you need confirmation, 
I'm in a space with my God. I don't believe, I don't need a confirmation. When he talks to me, it's already confirmed. But I just wanted to share that because it was such an amazing experience. And I say all that to say, man, people can feel your energy. People can feel what you believe in. They don't even have to talk to you. They can just feel it. They can see it. So make sure that you're in the right place spiritually because that matters more than how you look, how you smell, your nails being done, your hair being cut, the, the type of shoes you're wearing, the kind of clothes you're wearing, what you believe in your heart. That's what you wear, man. And that's your man, Eric Gone, signing out.